In this process, you are defining the goals that are consistent with the customer's demand. And by customer, we're talking about people in the organization or people external to the organization and the overall enterprise strategy. So you are looking at your process that's broken and you're saying, what are the goals of this process? Or you're looking at the collapse of the structure. What structure did we have and why is it broken? What did we actually want to achieve? So you look for the goals in having structure or the goals in that process in the organization. So D for define, defining the goals. Next it's M for measure. What you're doing is measuring key aspects of the current process and collecting relevant data. For example, you've got a process that you've put in place for your mailroom. In the measure aspect, you could be collecting relevant data. An example could be measuring how long it takes the mailroom personnel to find out who unaddressed mail belongs to and assign a mail drop number. So define, measure, the next is A, analyze. You need to analyze the data to verify cause and effect relationships. Find out based on the data why the process is failing. The next is improve. After you've analyzed the data to find out what the relationships are between the cause and the effect, you need to improve or optimize the process based on the data that you received, similar to design of experiment. Make things better, make life easier, and make the process smoother and controllable. There's no sense in creating a process that is laborious for the people working. You want to make sure that whatever process you put in place doesn't create work for the individuals. You want it to simplify work, but you don't want it to increase work. Lastly, control. C. Control is to ensure that there are no deviations from the identified goals in the defined process, make sure that there are no deviations from the target. It's really all about ensuring that problems are corrected before they result in breakdowns or a collapse of the process. So talking about collapse in structured organizations, when your process collapses, use the DMAIC approach to find out what is best for the organization and how to make corrections.